guys, it's Sue and welcome to my channel. It's been literally forever since I've made a video. Oh my God, that's my dog playing with his toy. You guys definitely know that I've been pregnant for a while now. It's honestly the greatest gift and the most amazing journey I could have ever stepped on. It's just crazy how fast your body adapts to pregnancy, how your belly grows so fast, how you can feel the baby inside of you move. Like that is just literally one of the most insane parts to me. At first I was super scared to feel the first movement. I was like, oh my God, it's gonna feel like I'm having an alien inside of me and it's gonna burst out of me. You know, like one of those alien predator whatever movies that you watch and you're just like, what is happening? It's literally just beautiful. If you guys have seen my gender reveal video or if you follow me on Instagram, I'm at Sue Rose, which you should do right now because I post a lot about my pregnancy, tons of updates and videos and all that kind of stuff. There he is. You got your time to shine now? You good? Oh god. The one time my makeup is pretty much on fleek, he starts licking it. I love you, boo. Love you. I love you. You've probably seen that we're having a little baby boy. The general little party was so much fun, guys. I had family over. Sadly, my mom and my grandparents couldn't be there, especially because they live all the way in Germany. We actually knew for about a month already because Josh surprised me with a 3D, 4D ultrasound. The room, like the ultrasound room was so much better than the one that you see at a doctor. You lay down, there were two big screens, like you didn't have to turn your head to the monitor on the right trying to like get a glimpse of your baby like i was able to see it right in front of me everything was nicely lit at candles it was beautiful and literally the first second she started like looking at the baby she kind of like went down to where his legs were josh and i were both like yeah that's a boy we also got this little teddy bear right here which is not just a giveaway that we're having a boy but it's also a heartbeat animal which i really wanted because it's kind of like a once in a lifetime thing you know your first baby and it actually recorded the heartbeat of the little baby it's just so cute we have a doppler at home and we listen to it whenever we can we don't try to do it like super often but probably like once a week is when we listen to the heartbeat and it's just like soothing to hear your baby's heartbeat and kind of like reassuring that he's there i am 20 weeks pregnant now so my belly is pretty big i have gone through the first trimester which was crazy for me second trimester is getting a little bit better first trimester for me was kind of like a roller coaster it was like an up and down type of thing. In the first couple weeks, I didn't really feel pregnant. I just knew I was pregnant. That's why I also took the test pretty early on. And that was pretty much my only sign. I didn't really have any signs, honestly. For the first couple weeks, even like in up to like six, seven, eight weeks, I was completely fine. I was slightly tired. I didn't have to deal with nausea for a while. And I was like, oh, I'm probably gonna be like one of these like lucky people that never have to deal with nausea. I was wrong. Literally it hit me after like, I think it was like the seventh to eighth week. I started feeling super nauseous. I actually developed motion sickness in the car. Like I would be driving and I would feel horrible. I would get nauseous for no reason. And I never had that. I love driving. I'm totally okay with driving. I don't get seasick. I don't get any of that. Then I also could not smell meat. Like I couldn't smell steak being cooked. Any type of meat would make me super nauseous, especially steak, especially because my husband loves making steak and I would come downstairs and he's in the kitchen making steak and I'm like, oh my God, I literally feel like throwing up. It was so bad. Now that I hit my second trimester, I think it would, took a while actually. It wasn't after like the 14th week, it was actually around to like the 16th. 17th week where I started feeling better. It took a long time for me to recover. So I did have nausea. I did get rid of the motion sickness. Thank God, that was super annoying. I still sometimes get nauseous when I smell meat being cooked. That still makes me nauseous. Then I also have this thing where when I think about Korean barbecue, super random, I get nauseous right away. I don't know what it is. I do, do really, really get tired. I get super, 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 super exhausted at the end of the day. I feel okay in the morning when I'm out for like a day, like we went to Disneyland for my birthday and we were there for like about eight hours. I was completely exhausted when we came home. I was in pain, like my body was hurting, my back was hurting. I had a headache, I get a headache super quick now. And the next morning I woke up literally in pain. I had to recover and it took me so long, like my back was hurting too. I just have to watch out that I take breaks, that I don't do super long days. Speaking of sleeping, I sleep actually pretty good. Besides the fact that I have to get up 
every like two hours to go to the restroom because my bladder can hold anything and the baby right now is I think on my bladder it's literally like kicking it or doing something on it because I have to go to the restroom every five minutes when I'm up every two hours when I'm sleeping I have restless leg syndrome which is kind of it's hard to describe if I lay down if I try to rest that's mostly when it happens or even if I'm sitting down somewhere for a while like a church my legs start hurting like it's like a pain I can't even describe it, it's like a pain, like a burning feeling I have to like stretch against it, it's so annoying In the second trimester it's just gotten worse I've had that like every night Before it was like once in a while And I'd be like, okay, I can deal with it It's not the best thing to have, but I've had it before so I knew it was gonna get worse during pregnancy. They also said anxiety would get worse. Actually, I've been really blessed when it comes to anxiety. Anxiety has not been a bother for me at all. I've been completely fine with anxiety. Those are like the only things that have been really the downside of the pregnancy. I don't really wanna say downside because I've thoroughly enjoyed pregnancy so far. I've had my first Mother's Day. It's nice to have Josh by my side who like goes to every doctor's appointment. He gets really excited when we see the baby, when we hear the heartbeat. Pregnancy has been really great so far so I'm at week 20 right now I'm halfway there so that is my 20 weeks pregnant belly so far it's actually pretty big for 20 weeks maybe for me I don't know I've never been pregnant but that's what it looks like right now it's crazy how fast my belly grew if you guys want any more videos I was planning to do like a nursery tour maybe like a video on how I kind of beat my nausea like there's a couple things that helped me then I wanted to do like a maternity fashion haul first signs of pregnancy there's so many more videos that I could do so if you guys want a video on that or anything that you want like a Q&A maybe about pregnancy Comment it down below in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet I love you guys so much and I can't wait for the next video Bye